In today's video, Jeffree Star comes for fan Christy Michelle again. That story, coming up now. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. If you're a return subscriber, thanks for coming back and spending some time with me today. If you're new here and you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, click that notification bell, and select it to all. That way you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Before we get started, and as always, I need to remind you that I am a drama commentary channel. I have opinions and I speak them freely. Opinions are not facts, they never have been facts, and they never will be facts. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's dive in. Our story begins in a magical place where people post their thoughts, opinions, and often their artwork. A young woman by the name of Christy Michelle posted a beautiful makeup look she recreated from her idol Jeffree Star. All was going well. Fans praised her artistry and everything seemed to be right with the world. Until... Jeffree Star himself posted his input on the 30th day of August at 10.05 p.m. And that's where our story begins. Sorry about that, guys. I felt like being a little extra today. Anyways... In all seriousness, though, Jeffree responded to Christy after she posted this tweet at the end of last month. She wrote... I always get told I look similar to Jeffree Star. What do you think? I think we could be sisters. Clearly, Jeffree Star was not in agreement, and he responded with, I don't see any similarities. Ouch. Before Christy had a chance to respond to his tweet, he deleted it in classic Jeffree Star form. The fact that he tweeted and deleted before she had a chance to even comment really upset Christy, so she took to Twitter to express her disappointment. She tweeted, you guys know I love Jeffrey more than any other influencer, and I've always been extremely supportive. I don't know how I feel about this. It's his opinion, obviously, but he could have been nicer about it. I said people say. That doesn't mean it's a fact. I'm shaking and crying. She also went on to say, I want to make it clear that I am not mad at Jeffrey. I can't be mad at his opinion. That would be crazy. But the fact that he used exclamation points three times, then deleted the tweet like it was wrong, ignore the makeup look I recreated of him, that's what got me sad and speechless. Clearly seeing that Christy was feeling down and defeated, her fans sent her comments in support of her, her talent, and expressing their disappointment in Jeffrey for being so insensitive. One person tweeted, don't take it down. Not long ago, I loved him very much too, but I have seen how he talks to his fans. I have seen their pain when he makes a rude comment or blocks them. Maybe rethink if you want him to be the person you love and idolize. I don't so much anymore. Another person tweeted, I don't think he meant anything about your makeup, hun. I think he was referring to you guys physically looking the same, but yes, either way, it sounds a little harsh. I'm sorry. Christy responded to this person and said, I know he didn't mean the makeup, but he could have at least worded it differently. He didn't even say anything about the makeup look I did inspired by him. Someone else wrote, It seems a little bitchy, and to be honest, that's not okay in my opinion. You're super freaking talented, and he could have at least taken the chance to highlight that instead of leaving a half-hearted comment. Christy responded, That's how I feel. I'm not mad about him having an opinion, but he didn't even acknowledge the makeup I did inspired on him because I love him. And lastly, someone else said, I didn't like this response at all. It's shady and mean. I'm sorry, love. Christy responded, I never felt this much pain in my life. Everyone knows how much I love him and look up to him. I'm so confused and hurt. This person responded to Christy and said, I hope that he didn't mean it the way it sounds, but that doesn't matter. It's worded terribly. Well, where there are positive comments, there are also negative ones. There were a few people that decided to stand up for Jeffrey. Somebody tweeted, it wasn't rude whatsoever. Grow up. It's weird to post things like that. He is entirely entitled to dislike it and not acknowledge it. He is a person just like you and I. Someone else was a little less harsh and said, The makeup is good, but you don't really look that similar. As much as it sucks because you look up to him, it wasn't that rude in my opinion. If you'd done different makeup, you still wouldn't look similar, to be honest. The makeup is similar, but you don't look like him, and that's all he was saying. Then Christy replied, I'm not mad over his opinion at all. I was just sad that he didn't even acknowledge the look I created for him, yet he was quick to say he didn't see any similarities, then deleted the tweet. If he wouldn't have deleted it, I would have laughed and taken it as just him being honest. The criticism kept coming, so Christy announced that she was going to take a social media break. She said, 
I never thought this community could be this cruel and mean. I have always been nothing but supportive of everyone. I never meant to attack Jeffree Star. I was just sad and confused because he deleted it for no reason. I honestly wish I was dead. All this hate towards me truly hurts. I want to stay away from social media until I feel better. Maybe there was miscommunication, but that doesn't change how I felt. I love life and it won't end over this. I pray for kindness in this community. We all need it. I love everyone and I'm sorry all this happened. A few days passed and honestly, I thought this whole situation was over and done with. But I wake up this morning to see that Christy is back to tweeting again and instead of being sad, she is super pissed off. Apparently, Jeffrey was becoming concerned with Christie's constant tweets and overall attitude that he blocked her on Twitter for his own mental health. Christie noticed and tweeted about being blocked, and instead of staying silent, Jeffrey Star responded by saying, Love you? We've never met, so that is extremely scary to assume I have any feelings for a stranger. I have to block you for my own mental health. God bless you, and stay safe. Well, obviously that wasn't going to go over well. Christy apparently did some snooping on Instagram and she came across a post where she felt that she was being bullied by Jeffree Star and someone else. She went on an insane Twitter rant and said the following. When I said love me, I didn't mean it as in my soulmate, my best friend. I meant it as a fan and supporter that buys from you. But I guess your words mean nothing when you deny them. I'm not a fangirl. I did idolize you and that was wrong. Never again. No one is worth it. Jeffree Star, you are both pieces of crap. And it is clear to me now that I wasn't crazy. You were being shady at me and deleted it because you didn't want to look bad. I am so disgusted by you guys right now. Making fun of my emotions. You are monsters. Never loved me. You guys both have huge platforms and chose to bully me, mock me, make fun of my feelings. I am speechless and now more than ever know this needed to happen so I could open my eyes. You guys are monsters. Well, that was intense. Apparently, though, her fans agreed with her statement and showed support by commenting. For his mental health? What, because you're a security threat or something? Oh my god, why is it so hard for this man to just apologize when he's hurt someone's feelings? Is it wrong for supporters to assume the people they support love them? Christy replied, He's trying to make it seem like I'm a psycho obsessed with him when all I meant was love me as a supporter or fan, like he tweeted. And then she responded back and said, It seems like everyone's twisting your words on this and they are treating what happened as a joke. And I'm sorry. Then someone else tweeted, As usual, his words bite him in the butt. Sorry I spent my hard-earned money on this man. I really enjoy his content. Oh well. And then Christy replied, I'm still going to use the products I have because I paid a lot, but best believe I'll never promote them again and I will never buy another one. Ever. And as to be expected, the Jeffree Star stands came after her hard after this last rant. Somebody said, Literally, you're crazy. Jeffrey and so-and-so could have been talking about the art styles on his face. What do you have to do with it? Another person tweeted, Jesus H. Christ, how is that bullying or mocking? Grow up for your own sake. Peace. Someone tried to be a little bit nicer about it and offer some constructive criticism and said, Christy, I'm saying this to try and be helpful. You are blowing this way out of proportion. The beauty industry is filled with criticism. You absolutely need to grow a thicker skin because this will not be the last time you receive it. And I guarantee there will be worse things said. Furthermore, I get you've been a super fan of Jeffrey and hearing criticism from your hero is hard, but I encourage you to let it push you to work even harder. Blowing up the internet with drama isn't going to do you much favors, support or career-wise. You'll be labeled. Well, now that we know the backstory on this giant pile of mess, I'm going to go ahead and give my two cents. I'm going to say I do feel bad for Christy. I can't imagine how she feels right now. To have someone you love, look up to, and support be rude to you when all you were doing was just showing off a look you were proud of by using the products your idol came out with, just wow. If I were in her shoes, I would be upset as well. She has a right to feel as she feels, and people need to respect that whether they agree with her or not. But, and this is a very big but, it's getting to the point now where it is getting absolutely insane. She's making herself look bad. She needs to get off social media, 
take a break, regroup, and then just let it go. It's getting to the point now where she almost seems like she's a crazed fan or a stalker, and I can understand why Jeffrey would be a little bit concerned. If she keeps this up, she could possibly ruin her credibility in the beauty community. So, I think, as I said before, she needs to stop, get off social media, take a break, and just let it go. Let Jeffrey be, move on, don't talk about it anymore, don't think about it anymore, just don't. Most of all, I hope she actually learns a lesson from this, and for everybody in that matter, never put people that you love, you know, celebrities or otherwise, on this ridiculously high pedestal. You're going to be disappointed every time once you realize that they're just human and they make mistakes. It, you know, it happens. They're not perfect. Nobody is. And this is actually one of the reasons why I hate stan culture so much. People just become obsessed with people that they follow, and it's not healthy. It's just not a way to live. And now my thoughts on Jeffrey. Was Jeffrey being rude, in my opinion? Yes. Was it intentional with malicious intent behind it? I don't think so. I feel that Jeffrey knee-jerk reacted to her original post and responded without fully thinking about how it was going to come across. I think the reason that he quickly deleted the original tweet was because he stopped to think about how the tone of the tweet came across, albeit it was a little too late, unfortunately. As far as what he said when he responded to Christy when she was going off about being blocked on Twitter, I think it was a horrible decision. Now, that may not be a popular opinion with the Jeffree Star stands, but you know what? Oh well. Look, I don't hate the guy at all. I have all of his palettes and an ungodly amount of his velour liquid lipsticks, let's be honest. But just because I like him doesn't mean I'm not going to call him out when he does something I feel isn't right. I feel like Jeffrey either should have reached out to Christy privately to work things out behind the scenes or just continue to ignore the situation and wait for it to eventually die down. Because he chose to respond to her publicly again, I feel his stands are going to start dragging her all over again. It's sad because this whole mess could have been avoided if Jeffrey had just reached out to Christy privately the first time to clear the air. Feelings would have been spared and no one would have been the wiser. Christy Michelle did come out with a YouTube video explaining the whole Twitter situation. I'll be sure to link the video down below in my description box so that you guys can check it out if you want. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Christy is blowing this whole thing way out of proportion and needs to take it down a few notches? Do you think Jeffrey's at fault? Do you think he should have just apologized the first time or ignored the situation completely waiting for it to die down? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and we can have a discussion. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I'd like to thank you again for spending some time with me today. Remember, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Everyone give this video a big thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. I look forward to seeing you all again very shortly on the next one. Bye!